Do you know who you are? Because I know who I am. You're watching Quantum Beauty TV. My name is Cashel, and welcome to my channel where we quantify the beauty of life. In this video, I am wearing my veil, and I'm wearing my veil because we are going to have Bible and prayer time right now. So keep watching. Um, a lot has been going on, obviously, with the C virus. I don't even... I don't even want to mention the name. I'm just so over hearing about it. But there are so many people right now who are directly, directly affected by it. And the purpose behind this video is to pray for those who are affected by the virus and who has um, their lives have been turned upside down from it and um, those who have passed away from it and those families. So um, before I before we get into the prayer. I grabbed my Bible, and the very first thing I looked up, I just opened it up. And this happens all the time. I'll just open the Bible, and it'll be exactly what I need at that very, very moment. So, um, and, and now it's no different. So I ended up turning to Job 27, and um, Job 27, 3 says, As long as my breath is in me, and the breath of God is in my nostrils, my lips will not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. Far be it from me that I shall see you are right. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast and will not let go. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. So that's Job 27, 3 through 6. And I thought, whoa, this is perfect because there's a lot of people who are going through a Job situation right now where everything's being taken from them. They're sick. Um, there are people around them have have, uh, have passed away and things are just looking so dark and so dismal and um, still in awe with what Job went through. And I'm, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a deaconess. Not yet. I'm not any of those things, but I just reading this gave me the comfort and knowing that no matter what it is that you're going through, hold fast and hold tight to your integrity and righteousness in Christ, um, Christ on Song Hong and God and and what you believe in and to um, know that everything is happening for a divine purpose and that everything comes out for the good in the end. So with that being said, let us pray. All right, here we go. Heavenly Father, God, Christ, An Song Hong, Mother, New Jerusalem, all that is the king and queen of the universe, of, of all that is our source, our Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. We just open our gates right now with thanksgiving and we just we're so grateful and so glad that you have created us and you've created the earth and um and all the beauty and all that is in the spaces in between heavenly father and mother right now we are praying to lift up the people who are hurt right now due to this coronavirus and people who have been directly affected in in the worst worst way heavenly father heavenly mother and we pray that you just give your angels charge over them and you just encamp that have your holy angels encamp around them and give them comfort and give them ease uh father father and mother and i pray that those people who are on the front lines who are working in hospitals, those the bus drivers, the the grocery store workers, the post office people, the people working in retail and people who are in in various fields that are still on the field right now, Heavenly Father and Mother, keeping this world going, keeping the wheels turning, especially in this country, Heavenly Father and Mother, we just pray that you send them an extra, extra special blessing, an extra special um, return on their investment of of making sure that we are the rest of us are okay heavenly father and mother give them extra protection and guard and shield them from any virus spreading onto them and those who do have the virus who are in who are living right now we just pray for a rapid healing a rapid transformation a rapid turnaround in their health in the name of christ on song hong all the people who are not working right now, who are in quarantine right now, Father, Mother, we just pray that they 
that they grow closer to you, Father God and Mother, and that they grow in wisdom and in knowledge, and that this time and this space while they are at home is a time for them to spend more with you, Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother, and get to know themselves and who they really are inside. I pray for the lonely, Father and Mother. I pray for the desolate, Father and Mother, the hopeless, the and the homeless, Heavenly Father and Mother. We just pray for the people who are just affected so negatively about through this pandemic. We just pray that it is for your glory and that it turns out to be more of an extra special blessing than we could ever imagine, that we can all ever, ever imagine, Heavenly Father and Mother, and that we we may not see it, we may not know it, we may not believe it, Father and Mother, but this right here is your divine will, and that it is, it is meant to exalt you and to lift you higher, Heavenly Father and Mother. And so thank you so very much for the blessings that are going to come about, the new projects that are going to come about from this, the people who are who are creative and who are going to create something new, the new um, the new gadgets, the new uh, literature, the new movies, the new everything that the things that that um, that are all of creation that lift you high, Heavenly Father, the new songs that are coming out, the new the new revelations, the new philosophies, the new downloads, the new ascensions that that everybody is experiencing or getting ready to experience while we right now wait while we are in this quarantine stage, Father and Mother. And we just pray for our government, Father and Mother, that our government gets it together and and creates solutions that are that fit everybody and that works for the highest good of all heavenly father and mother we just we pray that that the virus cease right now that you stop the virus from spreading and stop it from from killing any more people and because we have learned our lessons father and mother we pray that all i pray that that we all learn our lessons in this and that we don't take life for granted anymore and that we just believe that that life is precious and that life is a gift and that you um and that you have given us this life to spread the word to spread your glory and to lift you high heavenly father and mother and i just say these things with the utmost confidence that they will be returned and that they are answered in the name of christ on song home i pray amen thank you so very much for watching be sure to like comment subscribe um leave your prayers as well and i hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful night wherever you are in the world god bless you